Good morning, children. In the very first video, I have told you about that what are the different types of tastes and which organ of our body helps us in finding the types of taste and what are the different food items in which you find the different tastes. Children, one thing I want to tell you here is that ki in spite of the four main types of taste, you must have come through with very different types of taste also. Like for example, when you are eating a chart or when you are eating a golgappa, you may feel the very spicy, tangy and sour taste. Okay. Here, not only the sour taste, here you are tasting two or three tastes together. So you must know these extra taste also okay but when you eat so you must think na, ki where our food is going inside our body whether it is going inside the pipe or is there a balloon type or thing in our body <coughs> where we where this food is going on let me show you this thing that is the digestive system of our human means okay see this is the food pipe and from this food pipe your food goes inside in into this inside this balloon like stomach and from there your food goes through the diet duodenum into the small intestine why it is called a small intestine because it's lumen is very small okay and from here up to this part okay your the your food is completely digested by the body and what happened here is the best part of your digested food was absorbed by the body and the rest part goes into the large intestine and from here this un digested food comes out or your body throw out through this anus okay this is your complete digestive system the come to this part this is your stomach okay this in the stomach there are so many digestive juices there are many digestive juices which helps us in digesting our food when you are not uh, taking food for a long time you must have feeling a uh, stomach ache or acidic in each uh, acidic type of thing all this happens only due to the presence of these digestive juices because they are continuously coming out from the layers of the system okay children now this is all about our human digestive system you must know that you maybe know about the liver gallbladder and duodenum all these also helps in the digestion gallbladder and duodenum plays the the important part and as well as the pancreas also okay and this is the appendix later on you will learn about this not this time now come here when we now we have come to know that this is our digestive system but you know who told us about this digestive system? It's a very interesting story, you know. A stomach with a window. In this story, when you will go through this story, you will find that Dr. Beaumont in 1922, he got a soldier called Martin. The Martin was shot and he got seriously hurt. At that time, the doctor Beamond was called to treat him. Beamond cleaned the wound and put the dressing. But after one and a half year, the doctor found that Martin's wound has healed except for one thing. He had a big hole in his stomach, like a window. The hole was covered with a loose lap of skin, means a very thin layer of skin, like a washer in a football press the skin and you could peep into the 
stomach. Peep means you can just feel what is inside it. You can see. Now, only that the doctor could also take out food from the stomach by putting out a tube in a hole. The doctor Beaumont felt that he had found a treasure. And in this way, he keeps on doing experiments with this soldier and find out the different parts of our digestive system. And he do many experiments with him. And he grew up, he got married. But then also the Dr. Beaumont is going on and keep on going through this, his stomach. And in this way, he find out that the different parts of the stomach, uh, stomach and different parts of the digestive system of our human beings. Okay. You must read this story. Then. One incidence is that, one uh, more thing, you must know, uh, come in your mind that why we eat food, children, we eat food because we need energy. We need energy to do different kinds of work. If you will not eat food, you will suffer from a very weak body and you will do nothing. You will feel lethargic, you will feel lazy, you will feel sleepiness. For example, when you are ill or when you are suffering from vomiting or loose motion tendons, loose motion disease, you must have known that mainly children do not wash their hands before eating or if you eat some unhealthy food, then vomiting may cause illness in your body along with the Ill, um, vomiting, you may suffer from loose motions also. Children, when you are suffer from a general vomiting or a loose motion, your mother and your father gives you just a simple solution of sugar and salt made in your home. That is known as the ORS solution. But when you are feeling very weak and become dizzy, means dizzy means you are not able to open your eyes then you have to be hospitalized and doctor will prefer to give you the glucose drip you know glucose drip is a kind of liquid this this is the glucose drip which gives you directly into your body okay and this instant this glucose drip will give you the instant energy Sometimes you may have heard about the glucose that is white colored powder given to you while playing in your school also. That is a sweet powder. It also gives you the instant energy. Okay. All these things. Why, why only glucose word is coming in uh, during this uh, lesson? Because our whole food, the kind of foods you eat, when our body digest it, it convert it into glucose first. Okay, whether you drink milk, you eat chapatis, you eat dal, your body convert the whole things into glucose. And that glucose was absorbed by your body. Now, which type of food we should eat? Look at these two pictures as given in your book. One is Rashmi of 5 years old and another one is of Kalash. He is 7 years old. 5 years Rashmi, it looks like a 3 years old, very thin arms, thin legs, pot belly means the belly is out like a balloon and she often falls sick and remain unhealthy. Look at this boy also, Kalash. Kalash is 7 years old but he is looking older than his age. His body is fat and flabby. He has a pain in his legs because this part is overweighted. He is not very active. He, he didn't want to go outside the school, uh, the home. He goes to school by bus and spends many hours watching TV as mostly children prefer to do. But you know, children, these both the children are not healthy. Why? Because this girl, the Rashmi, is suffering from 
the malnutrition because she is unlucky and she is not getting the proper diet and the scalash is taking the food which is not healthy and that food is known as the yes what you will call that burger pizzas and all this fast food fast food soft drinks that food which you get from the market children here one thing you must note it down the food which is cooked in your home by your mother is the best food for you if you want to remain healthy you must eat what your mother cooks for you sometimes you can eat these chips and burgers or extra things but don't make it your habit okay and this is the right of every child that you should get a proper healthy and good food along with eating the good food you must follow three rules also to remain healthy that is by doing the regular exercises and drinking plenty of water means again i am repeating to remain healthy you must follow three rules eat healthy drink plenty of water and do exercises daily okay children this is all about your lesson and thank you